you're going 60 miles per hour with the rain pattering on your windshield and your windshield is fogging up and you're on a highway. So you can't stop because you could cause a pileup, but you have no idea what's in front of you. Uh, that's sort of policy making. As a policymaker, you are desperate for more data to guide your policy making. You would love to have a ton of research telling you this works, that doesn't, thus and such is how you should go. But in practice, you don't have it. And so you always go back. I found that if I went back to first principles and thought through the problems, and said, okay, if this is what is going on, here are the things that will affect the, uh, the economy. Here's what I don't know, but here's what I broadly know. But uh, you don't get time to really reflect. Um, one of the difficulties in a job in the quote-unquote real world is you don't really get time to shut yourself off in a room and think. Now, um, in academia, if you're not too careful, uh, you get really dragged into the real world and you don't have that time. But if you're careful, you can you know, spend four days in a room sit looking at, uh, at a piece of paper and struggling with a thought which refuses to come out. At the end of those four days, sometimes you say, oh my God, how did I miss this? And it dawns on you and, and that's as close to bliss as you can get. I am teaching a course that I taught before. Uh, I always made it a point to change two or three cases every year. So at the end of five years, the, the course would be quite different. And that's true this year also. Um, the course is on international corporate finance, but there's a fair amount of thinking about the political environment, about uh, your strategic slash political um, sort of decision making when you're making large investments in emerging markets and, and countries around the world. Um, I hope it uh, introduces uh, the nuances in other countries to our students. Clearly, um, we can't go to every country in the world and see what's different. But what I do want them to understand is not every country works like the United States. Many of them have international experience and know that. And my job really is to bring their, their collective wisdom into the classroom through cases so that we can understand uh, how we should approach some of these issues in a country we've never been to. I'm interested in a number of issues that I was interested in before I left. But of course, you are influenced by the real world. And what we see out there is a strengthening of populist movements around the world, uh, you see some concerns about the market. Uh, is the market, is the free market um, really what we want to have as a society? In an era of widespread democracy, uh, you cannot have a system which works only for some and not for others. Uh, the markets need political support. And I think we need to further that debate uh, and Chicago has always played an important role in that debate. We need a better solution, and that's part of what, uh, what I hope to think about.